seven fun facts about Indonesian people? We've learned so much about the culture, food, and the places, and Jakarta, and how Indonesia is rich, and their geography. But now, we got to learn about the people. Did you guys know we've actually met Indonesian before? Indonesian people before in <laughs> Indonesia? <laughs> You're saying we met Indonesian? Yeah, the original Indonesian. Wow. It's pretty I sick. All of you watching this video right now, if you're from Indonesia, descended from the person we met. It's, it's, yeah, it's the, that's the history of Indonesia. There was one, and then it multiplied and split into many Indonesians. It's pretty cool. That's where Indomie came from, too. Yep. He burst it, it. It came from a different... It was actually his hair was what the noodles were made out of. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, but we went to Indonesia. And if you want to check out our travel vlogs there, go to our other channel. They're on a separate channel. Try Fate Lifestyle. Link in the description and pinned comment for that channel. We got to meet some Indonesians. Yeah. And we reacted to a lot of videos here on Try Fate Geo as well. Uh, you can check out the Indonesia playlist in there. Everything you could want in the entire world. Lots of videos. Let's do this. White guy in Indonesia. Oh yeah. Seven fun facts about Indonesians. Why did he make it a question? Seven fun facts about Indonesians? Huh? Or is it seven fun facts about Indonesians? Or is it seven Gosh. fun facts about Indonesians? I don't even know anymore. Indonesia. Seven? <laughs> One, they love to hang out together. Jakarta. You will rarely see Indonesians alone. They love to hang out with each other. Whether they eat durian, the world's smelliest fruit, I'm just excited for the next one. Yeah, go ahead. Durian in Indonesia means thorny fruit. Which is one of the thorny favorites fruit. in Indonesia. Smell. Durian from 1 to 10. And 1 is really bad and 10 is super. Durian, 1. I don't uh, like it. Uh. Whatever they do, they will always do things together. There is a phrase. Makanga makanga penteng on board. Very awkward which means pose if with those. can't eat, the most important couple. thing is togetherness. No matter what happened, we will still wow, be together, even as family or best friends. Friendship is so important here, and Indonesians are very social people. Of course. <laughs> I have been to Indonesia seven times, and you always see people hanging out here. It's really a thing. In Bali. Bali. Yeah, that is pretty true. Two. They I have to be honest. I feel like anywhere we go, we see people hanging out. Yeah, typically when you go out. Somewhere you see people that are also going out, and when people yeah. go out, they usually hang out with people. And then when people don't want to hang out, they just stay home. Well, yeah. This one's very true with the badminton. Oh, yeah. We saw we people playing badminton, badminton, badminton on the street. I wonder if he's going to mention kites and in this video. Indonesia. At least in Bali, they like kites. That's for sure. Badminton is part of the national identity. We've watched some badminton games for many. It's the only sport in which Indonesia has won Olympic gold medals. Badminton wow, is so important in Indonesia, so never offend the sport and always let the Indonesians win as a guest. Huh? Is that his I way of saying that's why he lost? Because he's just letting them win. <laughs> it better be. It better be a joke. If it's not a joke, then they can't be proud of their badminton yeah. skill. You win, and then they get angry at you and deport you? That'd be messed up. That would be messed up. It better be a joke. I want to go full beast mode, Victor Axelsen mode, and win everything here, at least myself. Axelsen, I love you. I Thank respect you. to you. Great. Number one Denmark is uh, Victor Axelsen, you know? Anyway, you can't find an Indonesian family without at least one badminton player. Professional or amateur, they love it. Who was first to 21? Yes. Uh, I'm the winner. Really? Who's the winner? <laughs> Three. They love taking pictures. Oh, wow. Its capital, Jakarta, is the most Instagrammed in Asia. Really? Yes, you heard right. The most Instagram city in the whole of Asia, and number eight throughout the world. Oh, I guess Instagram specifically. Selfies, even more. Yeah, than true. As I was like, really, the Philippines, but their Facebook. Yeah, it, that that is one thing. You compare which platform countries use. Yeah. Like Korea's not using Instagram or Facebook. Japan uses something Japanese probably. China is using Instagram. Uh, <laughs> India uses Instagram. 
There's a lot mm-hmm. of Indians. I'm yeah, surprised, so surprised it's not one of those. Yeah. Delhi or just one of the massive yeah. cities. Why? Realities do. And if they can get a good selfie with a bulle, it always makes them happy. This, this is, is Indonesia. Indonesia. It's very normal for me that strangers are asking me to take photos with me over my seven visits here to Indonesia. <laughs> and people are usually always Can you relate? respectful when asking. Yes. You gotta love the Indonesians. That's, that happens in a lot of countries to us, actually. Uh, Philippines, India. Did it happen? In, I guess it did happen in Indonesia. But not as much. We were, I remember we were surprised because it happened on the popular beach in Bali. Yeah. And in Jakarta, it like, didn't happen once. That was interesting, yeah. But we've had other places where they take pictures with, with us way more. Very nice. Four, rice is everything. Every meal rice. Nasi. Rice is number one in Indonesia, and many people eat it three times a day. Indonesians like eating, they like cooking, and they like talking about food. Staying with this Me really too. sweet family in Kupang, Indonesia. Unfortunately, they don't speak so much English, but we still have a really good time. Overall, they are really How does he end up in that situation? Food. I don't know. Food is their passion. <laughs> Indonesians eat more often than any other foreigners whom I have met. And spices, of course. We are in Indonesia. Karupuk. We always have that for every kind of food. My guy over here is almost vomiting. He tries to film yourself with the GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. I guess I'm the only one enjoying this. That was a hotel. Oh, There'd be a fine. The biggest durian True. Oh. In Malaysia. Oh, no. Indonesia. They like the traditional and the modern food, and the food here always make my tummy happy. In addition to that, here in Indonesia, there's no idea that did the uh, food in Indonesia one... always make your tummy happy, Isaac? I got food poisoning. <laughs> Destroyed our trip to Jakarta. Dang nabbit. But I mean, it satisfied my countries. cravings. It was yummy. Countries. Indonesians just like eating. The juicy meatballs. Only in Indonesia. We didn't get any box, so. It's the best meatballs I've ever tasted. Mm. Really? It's like a tasty. Five. They are never angry. Indonesian. I feel like this guy's making a lot of. <laughs> Wild making some generalization, generalizations for sure. <laughs> I'm sure what he's trying to say is they don't get angry much, but I is, don't know. Is they never get angry even a generalization, or is that just a wrong fact? We saw somebody get angry, right? Well, I had to have. I don't remember everything that, that happened exactly. That guy that walked in front of me when I was oh, yeah, yeah. sneaking through and I knocked his phone and he looked at me like he was going to kill me. Yeah, even though he... And I was like, what are you doing? Your... Bling. Yeah. Interesting. Indonesians, have a ten... Indonesians are very happy people and very, very friendly, though. We just want to... The point of us reacting to this as people who have gone to Indonesia is to break everything down and actually react to it with our own experiences. We've We're not stayed just going to be like, yeah. Yeah, and we stayed in a lot of countries and visited a lot of countries in Asia, and we've seen so many of these videos, and it just, the, like, huge generalizations about a super positive thing aren't always 1,000% true. Yeah, and a lot of things in these videos, when it's, like, especially, like, specific Southeast Asian country videos, they apply to the wider Southeast Asia region a lot of the time, too. Yeah, I mean, there's a ton of rice in Malaysia and Philippines. Philippines. Like, a lot of things like that actually just apply to the region more than the specific country. And we've been to most countries in Southeast Asia at this point. Yeah. So we have a pretty good idea. The of keeping the relaxing atmosphere. The opinion in Indonesia is that angriness has been taught as an expression that uneducated or an unmature person represents. Indonesians usually keep themselves calm. Suka semua. Suka semua. And he likes every country. Okay. <laughs> Never forgetting to smile to others. What is Thank your you. name? Gostau? Gostam. Gostau. Gostau. Wow. Me too, Mr. Gostau. Gostau. Thank you for visiting the Indonesian country in Jakarta. And I hope next time you can come back again with your family, with you. All oh. people from Denmark country, yeah? As you can see, the people are greeting you with smiles. 
even though they might be pissed off on the inside. And this significantly helps the community always staying peaceful. Friendly, communal, patient and easygoing people who have a strong spirit to give and make other people happy. And what's the best thing about Indonesia? It's tourism, definitely. And Indonesians rarely take anything too seriously. So who's the best player in the world? Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Some characteristics that I find quite unique to Indonesians are they really like to joke when talking to their friends. I like the U.S. Why? Um, good food and just a breathable air. <laughs> Is that guy American? That sounded Sound like a pretty American accent there. Uh, I'm trying to think of like where that would be. That's got to be West Coast. <laughs> got to be. Okay. And they are very talkative and laughing a lot. Not just me. <laughs> Sometimes to very stupid things. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, life is more fun in this way. Indonesia and they smile and you know look in Indonesia. What do you think about the country so? I love it. Am I Indonesian now? One of my favorites. Yes, you are. <laughs> Indonesians are some of the most friendly and fun people to talk to, even though it doesn't always make sense. Lorgan <laughs> Hansen, I like. Uh, my my idol. I am Cedera. 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 Yeah. From Jakarta. What's your favorite thing about Jakarta? The people, masyarakatnya. Six, the biggest young population. Indonesia has the world's yeah, biggest young, young population. Young people. It's home to That's 242 crazy. million people, and 165 million people are under the age of 30. Wow. Compared to only 8% of the Indonesian population being older than 60 years of age. Nearly 70% of the population is therefore under 30 years old. Indonesia is That's also crazy. the largest Muslim majority nation in the world. Also home to over 700 different languages and dialects. Uh, tinggi, tinggi. With Bahasa Indonesia being the official language of Indonesia. I like it. Which is spoken by over 94% of the population. I think I like all the countries. But it is the primary language of just only 20% of the population. Indonesia is just a fascinating country. Monks! Yes, Monkey. Indonesia is very nice. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. Seven early risers. Indonesians are good at waking up early. Sepura Sirita Tentang Jiwa. Yeah, it is all in Indonesia, not in Vesori. No one wakes up at 4.30 a.m. to 5 a.m. every day like most Indonesians. But they have It is interesting. Like, that's one thing that's different the than the Southeast Asian. At least jams. living here in the Philippines. Uh, you go to the mall at 11 a.m., it's empty. Yeah, it is. Where, I mean, I mean, obviously, people have to get up early to work and stuff like that. And being in Manila, you're going to see day. But typically, like, your average person wakes up pretty late here, I would say. We got up at 4, 5 a.m. when we went to the airport. I don't recall the streets being super busy. No, they're In Jakarta. Not. Yeah. Uh, this, I don't know what it was, but people always talk about the traffic in Jakarta, too, and it wasn't ever crazy when we were there. No. Our, one of our Uber drivers or Grab drivers said that we were there on a lucky weekend because it was the weekend of a holiday, so maybe that's why. And like the next day would have been just bonkers, but yeah, I, well, I guess our experience was just a bit different. Definitely was. Or school starts ridiculously early, but the How fact early? is, compared to other nationalities, Indonesians are early risers. Jakarta. These were seven fun facts about Indonesia. Do you agree or disagree with any of them? Please comment below. What's your favorite thing about Indonesia? I like the people. And I like the food. Dasiana Peach in Kupang. Remember to subscribe to Gus on the Go. See you guys. All right. So that was seven fun facts about Indonesia? Question mark? It's about Indonesia uh -huh. people? Obviously, as we watched it, we did disagree with some of the things here. I don't know if they are, like we said, necessarily Indonesia specific or just rash generalizations of places and stuff, but. And there were definitely some things we agree with. Indonesia was a really, really, really friendly place. A lot of talkative people. We found people in Bali to be extremely friendly, specifically. Mm -hmm. Very surprised by that. And then Jakarta was like, 
we were kind of ignored a bit more and some people gave us some hostile looks, but then we randomly run into someone who just wanted to talk to us about the most random things. Yeah. Yeah. So it was, Indonesia is just a very interesting, diverse place, friendly people, delicious food. And we have to make a video about our own facts one day, you know, just yeah, so we I can mean, give some different facts. Obviously, we said earlier, our experience was different. So we have different insight to share from our perspective. Yeah. And like we said earlier, too, we've been to so many different countries in Southeast Asia. So we can, well, we're able to say like similarities that we see and if things are actually Indonesian. Because we know a lot of people that, I mean, maybe if you live in Indonesia, you've never left Indonesia, you wouldn't know if another country is similar to yours. Yeah. So that's one thing we like is to find the very very specific things within the country that like yeah. straight up don't see anywhere else yeah so thanks for watching everybody hopefully you enjoyed let us know more facts about indonesia in the comments below give it to us some very unique one like that i bet indonesia is the only place where you know you can do the nasi goreng where it's actually from i bet you indonesia is the only place that starts with an i and ends in Indonesia. That's true. And I bet Indonesia is the only place with Mount Bromo. Yeah, that's probably true. Thanks and for watching. See I you bet you <laughs> Indonesia is the only place with Komodo dragons. He froze. He froze. Goodbye.